the Sun is the largest celestial object in our solar system. Scientists have said it contains more than 99% of the total mass of the solar system, with the largest planet Jupiter containing just 0.2%. This giant is responsible for holding the solar system together. If the Sun wasn't there, planets and debris wouldn't stay on their path. If we didn't have the Sun's massive amount of energy, there would be no life on our planet. Scientists have worked out that our Sun is around 110 times the diameter of the Earth. This means that over 1 million Earths could fit inside the Sun. Although the Sun is an incredible force, researchers have said there's billions of them throughout the Milky Way galaxy alone. The Milky Way is the second largest galaxy in our group, with the Andromeda galaxy being the largest. Scientists have concluded that the Milky Way galaxy is around 890 billion times the mass of the Sun. Although many don't give this massive star much thought, it's important to note that teams across the planet are keeping a close eye on it. The outside of the Sun is over 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, that's nothing compared to the core which can reach more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. NASA have said that to match the energy the Sun produces, you would have to set off over 100 billion tons of dynamite every second. Solar storms in the Earth's upper atmosphere are triggered by massive amounts of energy from the Sun. If one of these storms is particularly powerful, it will take out entire power networks across the planet. What's worrying about this is researchers have said we're not ready for an event like this, and that it would cause chaos across the entire planet. Experts have said that if a large enough solar event was to strike our planet, it would cause over 2.3 trillion pounds, or 3 trillion dollars worth in damage. Researchers have said the sun produced one of its most powerful flares back in 2017. This told them that the sun was waking up and becoming more active. When the sun throws out these flares, they can have effects on satellites and other pieces of equipment. Sunspots can be seen as darker areas that appear in the surface of the Sun. Researchers and scientists said that back on the 29th of May, a solar flare came from one of these spots. Although this one wasn't massive, the team studying the spot said it still sent out harmful radiation into the atmosphere. The researchers labelled this one as M-Class, which in terms of solar flares is in the middle when it comes to solar strength. The team did say though this could be a sign the sun is becoming more active, and that more powerful solar flares could be coming our way. The sun goes through cycles, and it's important that scientists understand when the sun is throwing out these flares, as they can affect our communications. As mentioned, if a powerful solar flare was to hit our planet, it would wipe out all our power networks. As of right now, scientists have said they're keeping a close eye on the sun. So what do you make of this discovery? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.